This conference will now be recorded. Thank you very much for joining me in this video. This is the fourth video in our series and it is titled Major Currencies and Cross Currencies. Now before we get into the actual presentation, if I can just get you to please read this risk disclaimer, I'll give you a few seconds and then we'll continue. Okay, thank you very much for that. Now, the recognized major currencies are the US dollar, the euro, the pound, the Swiss franc, and the Japanese yen. The Canadian dollar and Australian dollar are sometimes left off the list of major currencies, but they are still very heavily traded. And you must realize that the New Zealand dollar is also a very liquid currency. Take a look at this table. You can see that the currency, the USD, is called the dollar, the buck, or the greenback. The euro, EUR, is the euro. JPY is the yen. GBP is the pound or sterling. CHF is the Swiss franc, commonly referred to as the Swissy. The CAD is the Canadian dollar, which is commonly referred to the loony, and that's because the, uh, the dollar coin has a picture of the loon bird on it. AUD, or the Australian dollar, is called the Aussie, and of course, the NZD, the New Zealand dollar, is called the Kiwi. Now, you must realize that 90% of, of foreign exchange trades involve the US dollar either as the base currency or as the quote currency. Now, the cross-currency trades won't include the US dollar. So there we're looking at the euro pound or the pound yen or the euro Canadian dollar, etc. So you can see that as soon as there is no US dollar depicted either as the base or the quote, then we are dealing with a cross-currency. It's very interesting to note that they're generally regarded um, three trading sessions. There is the Tokyo session, there's the London session, and of course, there's the New York session. In video nine, we'll actually add a fourth session, the Sydney session, but each of those sessions have their own characteristics. And when sessions overlap, that is when we're going to see higher volumes and higher volatility, particularly when it's the European and the American sessions that are overlapping, or the London and the New York session overlapping. Those are regard regarded as the busiest time. The Tokyo session has a particular characteristic in that it is the US dollar Japanese yen that is the most traded currency pair. It's about three or four times a more volume in terms of trade than any other pair. Then comes the euro US dollar, then the euro Japanese yen, then Aussie US dollar, then pound US dollar. That changes when the London session is open. There we'll see the euro US dollar as the most traded pair. It's 50% more volume than the next two pairs combined, which is the pound US dollar, which is called cable, remember, and the US dollar, Japanese yen. Then we have the Australian dollar, US dollar, US dollar, Swiss franc, euro, pound, US dollar to the Canadian dollar, and then of course, euro to the Japanese yen. And it again changes slightly when we are trading the New York session. The euro, US dollar is still number one, but then the US dollar, Japanese yen moves into the second spot, followed by pound, US dollar, Aussie, US dollar, US dollar, Canadian dollar, Euro, Japanese yen, US dollar, Swissy, Euro, Swissy, and last but not least, Euro, Pound. That is where we are going to leave it for this video. Thank you very much for joining me, and I look forward to speaking with you in our next video.